Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Gibson, and hopefully we're live. But what I would like to talk to you today about is neuropathy treatment types. So many individuals are being told on a regular basis there's nothing you can do for peripheral neuropathy, or if they're lucky, they're given pain medications or nerve-modifying medications to try to treat symptoms. And what I want to do is give you some ideas of what you can do to manage your peripheral neuropathy. There are actually five different types of treatments, groups of treatments that can can be done. And so everything that someone brings to you, whether you find it on the internet, or whether you go to a doctor and they're giving you some options, everything should fit in these five categories. And if they don't, they don't work for peripheral neuropathy. There's five different ways that peripheral neuropathy can be treated. Number one, of course, is the ideal. We'd love to repair the nerves. And that's really the long-term goal of any treatment you should be going through is say, okay, what are we doing to repair the nerves? Because it's nerve damage. The nerves are malfunctioning. They're damaged. They're not working like they're supposed to. So you want to get some repair. Number two is nerve repression, which is the most common treatment. When they give you a pain medication, when they give you a nerve modifying medication, the goal here is to repress the symptoms, stop the symptoms, reduce the symptoms. So nerve repression, although it is valuable, it doesn't fix the nerves. And so all it's doing is reducing symptoms. That is something you should absolutely keep in your backpack. It should be something you should use as tool when the symptoms are significant, but you want to get some of these other treatments to really get the, the problem solved. Repair, of course, being the most important. Number three is nerve uh, reset. If you've ever used a computer and it starts to not work like it's supposed to, sometimes the best solution is to shut it off and should turn it back on. Well, your body's the biggest computer that exists with the brain and the nervous system. So if there's a way to reset it, that will help quite a bit. And there are things you can do in the management of peripheral neuropathy that allow you to reset the nerves. There's machines that can do it. There's activities you can do things like that. And as you reset the nerves, the nerves start to function more like they're supposed to. Best way, depolarize, repolarize the nerve, allowing, allowing it to function like it's supposed to. Number four is a form of nerve re-education. One of the big problems in a lot of individuals is the nerves are communicating correctly or are communicating the way they're supposed to to the brain, but the information being sent is incorrect. And so the brain doesn't know what to do with it. So it's sending it back as numbness, tingling, pain, whatever the symptoms that you're getting because the nerve and the brain are communicating incorrect information through correct pathways. So although the power is enough, the speed is enough, so forth, the information being received is causing it to get the neuropathy symptoms. So nerve re-education is another treatment option. If you can re-educate the nerves, get the nerves to function like you're supposed to, get them to communicate correctly to the brain so you're re-educating the brain, re-educating the nerves, getting them to communicate correctly, you will get less symptoms and improvement of your peripheral neuropathy. So this is a huge piece of the puzzle. A lot of times this is what we're doing in a roundabout sort of way to try to help people. And the fifth one is nerve release. This is a lot newer treatment for peripheral neuropathy, but it's a really, really old treatment when it comes to health. There are so many ways that you can actually release the symptoms that you can take control of your mind and your body, of the nerves and so forth, and really get control. So if it's one of those five treatments, you could actually get treatment for peripheral neuropathy and it's recommended that you do it. So what I would li love to do is give you those tools a little bit more completely. And that's really the reason that we do these neuropathy nuggets. So this is neuropathy nugget day 391. Uh, 392, I guess. And this is the treatment options that are available. Uh, 391. This is neuropathy nugget 391, the treatment options that are available for peripheral neuropathy. I recommend that you find the treatments that are going to work for you. And if you'd like additional help or additional information on this, you can jump in and join us for the neuropathy five day challenge at neuropathychallenge.com. We'd love to have you. We'd love to help you get control of your life again. Take it back. Neuropathy. You deserve to live an extraordinary life, even with peripheral neuropathy.